What's up guys, we're out here again on the range in a uh, very hot Alabama day, but uh, sun's out, not too many clouds, it's probably not going to rain, so it's going to be good. Uh, anyway, today, as you can tell by the title and maybe the intro, we're going to be seeing if a little bitty bullet out of this short barrel can go fast enough to penetrate uh, that level 2 soft armor. In case you're wondering, this is probably going to be the most scientific uh, soft armor test in the world. I've got it taped onto a jug of water because uh, it's a little too hot for ballistics gel and clear gel is kind of expensive and I don't have any so water jug it is. Uh, it's got a little bit of give to it. I didn't want to put the armor on anything hard because uh, it wouldn't be an accurate representation because when they test these I'm guessing they test it on something soft like a human body that'll give a little bit. The uh, first group of shots is going to be with 55 grain gold dot. That's what I keep in this little pistol all the time. Uh, the reason I did that is because um, everybody knows it's a, a slow velocity out of this gun and I wanted the bullet to be able to um, expand and make up some slack for that low velocity. But one thing I didn't realize was that soft bullets um, don't usually do as well versus uh, soft armor because it, it soft armor is designed to catch uh, the bullet. And so if it expands, you know, it might not be able to, to defeat the soft armor like I had hoped it would. But now we're all going to find out if it does or not. So first shot, uh, 55 grain gold dot from, I think, 10 yards away. So uh, here we go. The bullet, of course, uh, blew the jug up. Um, even if the armor was going to catch it, it was still probably going to blow it up just from the the pressure going back on it. It's probably going to blow the lid off or crack it somehow. But uh, there's water everywhere. The jug, the jug looks like it's split open. So uh, let's go see if that armor stopped that bullet. Here's the jug of water. Uh, I think you can see right there. That's probably where the bullet went in and somewhere back here where it came out. Here's the entry wound right here to the uh, soft armor. And there's the exit. If I can get the panels lined up. There's the exit right there. Um, there does not seem to be a bullet inside of there. Maybe I should have put something behind it to catch it, but uh, I mean, there's, there's no bullet inside of there. And like I said, this is a uh, level two armor. So um, level two is only designed to stop, you know, common handgun rounds, nine millimeter, uh, maybe 357, stuff like that. But that's cool. Uh, 10 yards away on this hit right here, it went straight through. Uh, check this out. The way I had this on the jug, it was like that, wrapped around, right? Jug was inside of it. The bullet went in through here and actually got stuck in the back side of the panel. Because I noticed there's a hit right here where it was wrapped around the jug. It came in, went through, and got lodged in the back side of the panel. Isn't that pretty cool? I'll have to try to dig that out in a minute. Huh. All right, well that was uh, 10 yards away. Uh, the bullet's probably still got a, um, hasn't lost much velocity from the muzzle. So I'm gonna get another jug, I'm gonna tape it up, and we're gonna go back to 25 yards and see what happens from there. All right, so I got the, uh, the other side of the level two uh, armor panel taped onto the, another jug. Um, you guys are gonna stay right here. I'm gonna go back to 25 and uh, give it a whirl. All right, uh, definitely didn't seem as uh, dramatic as the first one, but here looks like a clean, clear entry wound into the uh, jug of water and pretty decent exit. Let me go grab the uh, armor panel. All right, when I taped this one, I laid it flat. That way there wasn't a, a piece on the back so we can see if it went all the way through the uh, water jug and all that. Anyway, I do not feel a, uh, a bullet inside of here. There's my dot, hit about right there, just for reference. Uh, don't blast me in the comments about my marksmanship. But anyway, there's the exit. The entry, um, you can line it up somewhere in here, and the exit right there. So, 
there you go uh 25 yards with 55 grain gold dot coming out of a seven and a half inch barreled ar went through level two body armor now i will say uh disclaimer this body armor has used it's not brand new it's probably 15 years old maybe um not exactly sure how much that degrades the uh ballisticness of the uh the protection level i mean of the armor if that is an issue that i need to be concerned about let me know in the comments if you know for a fact um, but anyway i had some other ammo uh, i was going to test some um, uh, xm 193 some really hot shooting stuff i was going to test it because i really was uh up in the air about whether the gold dot was going to make it through here so i wanted to bring something really fast um you know a, a full metal jacket that wasn't going to expand to see if it would punch through <clears throat> but i don't reckon i'm going to have to because the uh, 55 grain gold dot made it right through all right so there you have it um everybody that was wondering from the uh the previous video um where i talked about the effectiveness of one of these i guess uh that's your answer it will go through um level two body armor from 25 yards away which is probably the ideal uh maximum distance for this this type of weapon and i was able to recover the uh the bullet that went through the front half and got stuck in the second half oh i don't know how well you can see that but there it is i dug it out of the uh the other half of the armor if you do have to shoot a bad guy and he's got level two armor and you're shooting 55 grain um gold dots out of seven and a half inch ar it'll go through the first half probably won't go through the second half of the armor so it'll stay inside and do its damage and you can tell right here it expanded uh through the water and got stuck in the backside. so yeah i thought that was uh that was pretty interesting pretty cool i honestly was hoping that it would go through because um i'd been you know i based my entire build off of the fact that this would go through level two armor and still um have expansion capabilities to um kind of take up some slack for the lower velocity out of the barrel so i'm glad to see that at 25 yards the ammo that i chose will go through level two um soft armor so i don't look like an idiot i've got four water jugs left i brought six out here i didn't really expect uh the test to be done after two water jugs so i've got four left and um I don't really feel like taking them home. So to end the video, I'm going to shoot them with a uh, 55 grain. And we'll see if we can capture the uh, bullet and see what it looks like. Just for fun. Here is the bullet, expanded real nice, huge pedals, uh, that's probably half the length of the bullet, if you can see that, half the length of the bullet expanded out, got some wicked looking pedals sticking out of there, yeah I don't know if you can see that very well but there it is, cool, good deal, I'm going to hold on to that, so there you go, uh, that's 55 grain gold dot um soft point out of a seven and a half inch ar and it's got a pretty wicked little bullet once it expands and it will go through level two body armor so if anybody had a question about it or was wondering the lethality of this the proof is in the pudding all right guys if you like that video i'd appreciate it if you go ahead and subscribe if not just go ahead and at least watch another video while you're here we'll see you next time <laughs>